Holy friggin' beans, uh, people. Look what the cat mailed me. Hot diggity dang. It's, uh... It's a box from the man himself. The, uh... Premier... Uh, fish fluencer. The main guy. Ugh. The dude we all started watching that got us into this mess. I sent him a box a couple months ago with some Goyas in it. Uh, it turned into an awesome video and he's returned the favor finally. He drew a little picture of us. Um, pretty artistic. I actually, uh, I'm a little impressed with, I mean, they're not amazing caricatures, but you definitely know who it, who, who's who, you know? He definitely got some uh, key features down. And then on the other side, spine action and fish farts. That's like those uh, Wayumar Deans, the Franken Deans. Pretty nice pack job. Some of these distributors could learn a thing or two from uh, Matt here. Okay. Ooh. Beach Cliff, Beach Cliff, and Riga Gold. I've had nothing but good experiences with Riga. I think I've only had them once though. So I guess that doesn't mean a whole lot. Beach Cliff in Louisiana hot sauce, and Beach Cliff in, oh, herring fillets in Kipper style snacks. If I remember correctly, these are the dollar store episode. And hot sauce, got some more. Uh... They must be good if he's sending them out to people. Let's see. I don't know if I've had herring filet kipper styles, period, so I'm kind of excited about that. Like usual, there's some service su serving suggestions uh, about crackers and things, and uh, I just don't think about it when I sit down, and uh, it just never happens. And it probably never will. I might one day, but... I mean, I didn't even bring any chopsticks, so talk about preparedness. Ugh. I didn't even clean my table today. Let's see if I can reach some sticks without unplugging the mic. Oh, it's got this springy area. Remember, remember your mom's corded phone in the kitchen back in the day? She would just stand there with that corded phone all day long, talking about who knows what. What was there to even talk about in the 90s? Lost? Or was that the 2000s? I don't know. All right, Kipper. Let's see your snacks. Very fishy smell. But I like it. I like what I'm smelling. Kind of just a sloppy mess, to be honest. Yeah, these are sloppy. It must be great, though, if you sent them. You know, this has a really, really unique flavor. And it's reminding me of a restaurant I used to go to when I was a kid in uh, St. Pete, Florida. Ted Peters' famous smoked fish. Nice call. The first smoked fish I ever had, and to this day my favorite smoked fish, is still the, the smoked mullet down at Ted Peters in South Pasadena. Mm. I've been on 30 pounds since I've been here. Tastes like that. But it a little bit tastes like it was made then, too, 20 years ago. There's a little something off about it. But it is delicious. Maybe these are nuanced flavors that I just haven't developed a liking for. That Matt is like, like he's so far beyond me. In, in the sense of like his palate for this. Maybe this is like the fine wine of Kipper Snacks. And he's trying to help me get to that point. I don't know. It's 
stick those there. Maybe I just have to get there. I have to work my way there. Uh, Louisiana hot sauce, sprats, water, maltodextrin, some kind of acid. No mention of hot sauce. But that's just like the ingredients of the hot sauce, right? I don't know. This is a little sloppy. This kind of looks like uh, if Chef Boyardee sold sardines. Yeah, these are good, Matt. These are really good, Matt. Oh, what the? These are really good, Matt. Thank you. Those are really good. I want to. I want to save those for later. Yeah, those are good. Riga Gold. Traditions of quality and taste. I had some Riga Gold sardines that were like bisected, and I had them outside in the snow, and I dipped them in the snow. I had a great time. They're really good, so I have high hopes here. These might even be better than uh, those Louisianas. Tough tin. Oh. Okay. God, that hot sauce. That acetic acid and maltodextrin really got me. Riga Gold Sprats. Oh my God. Oh yeah, these are really good too. Oh, what does it say on here? Smoked in a tire fire? Oh, what this is this? Matt. I don't know what's going on here, buddy. Holy hell. All three of these were terrible. That hot sauce was repulsive. I don't understand. Why did he send me these? Oh, I can't even wash it down. I don't feel so hot. Ugh. see this was intentional two can play at that game let's see how you handle these deans maddie c 